one important thing about dilutions is that majority of the dilution questions, most of the dilution questions, um, require this equation. C1, V1 is equal to C2, V. Everybody have come across that? Okay. As I said, most of the questions are based on this. But they are, the wording is different. The way they are worded is very confusing. So you need to figure out what's happening and then see if you can use this equation. So that's the first thing we will do when we do any dilution question. <coughs> we will see um, whether we can apply this equation. So have a look at this one. What volume of 90% uh, volume, volume by volume is required to produce 3 liters of 70%? So I'm required to produce 3 liter of, I'm required to pr make 3 liters of 70% from 90%. So how much of 90% I would need? So can you understand that? So I can simply apply C1, V2, C2, V2. So we can just solve it for this. 3 times 70 divided by 90. That would give what? 2.33 liters. So simple, C1, V1, C2, V2. One more thing you need to make sure whenever you're using C1, V1, C2, V2 is that the, the, the units on both sides are the same. So if you're using percentage, it should be percentage here. So volume should have the same units on both sides. Sorry, the concentration should have the same unit and the volume should also have the same unit on both sides. So you need to make sure that as well. Second question, what is the strength of the solution? such that when we dilute 10 ml of it, it gives 100 ml per, um, okay. What is the strength of the solution such that 10 milliliters diluted to 100 ml produces 5% weight by volume of the solution? So I am making 100 ml of 5% by diluting 10 milliliters. And the question is that what is the strength of this solution which I'm going to dilute? Right? So simple, we can apply C1, V1, C2, V2. Yes? No? Come on, everybody. Okay, so 100 mils, 5% we are producing from 10 mils. Just solve this 100 mils. Fifty, I think. So the answer is 50% here. How many milliliters of hydrocortisone liquid will be needed to prepare 30 grams of 0.25% grain? So it's a very different question here. I have a elixir or a syrup here. The concentration of, of that is hydrocortisone liquid 40 milligrams per mil. And I need to make hydrocortisone cream from that syrup. And the strength of that cream should be this. So let's start with the end. So the strength of the cream I've been given, which I have to make, is 0 0.25 grams per 100 grams, because it's weight by weight. Okay, so 0 0.25 grams per 100 grams, that's what I have to make. But I have to make 30 grams of this cream. So I'm trying to figure out first how much hydrocortisone I need in the final cream. Right? I'm trying to find out how much hydrocortisone would be needed in the final cream. So from the strength I know it would be 0 0.25 grams per 100 grams, but I have to make 30 grams of that cream. So if 100 grams of, will have 0 0.25 grams, 30 grams of the cream will have, I'm getting different numbers, but let me check, 0 0.075. Is that what? So 0 0.075 grams. So now I have figured out that in the final cream, I would need 0 0.075 grams. Let's convert it into milligrams because here it's milligrams. So 0 0.075 grams will be how many milligrams? Going from a bigger unit to a smaller unit, decimal move towards right, three places, 75 milligrams. Right? 
So now I have figured out that in the final cream, I would need 75 milligrams of hydrocortisone. So I need 75 milligrams of hydrocortisone. But I have this liquid, the serum. So from, from this, how would I get 75 milligrams? Strength is given, so if it's 40 milligrams is present in one mil, 75 milligrams will be present in one point eight or approximately uh, two wins. Right? So in this type of a question, I had to make a cream from a serum. So I first figured, I started with the end, I figured out how much hydrocortisone I actually need for the cream, which was 75 milligrams, and then I've calculated how much of milliliters, how many milliliters of that syrup will provide me that 75 milligrams. Physician prescribes um, ophthalmic suspension to contain 100 milligrams in 8 mils. So I need to make 100 mils, sorry, I need to make 8 mils containing 100 milligrams. The pharmacist has 2.5% suspension. Okay, so I need to make 8 milliliters which can of 100 milligrams. And I have 2.5% suspension. How many milliliters of this suspension I would need to make the required order? Can we use even V1 here? Come on, everybody. First of all, uh, we need to make sure that the units are equal on the both sides. So I know from this the percentage which I have to start with. Do I know the percentage of the final solution? It's not given. But can I calculate it? Why can I not? I'm, I have been given 100 milligram will be present in 8 mils, so I can calculate the percentage. So let's figure out that percentage. So if um, 100 milli 8 mils is to be present in 100 milligrams, in 100 mils it would be how much? Sorry, um, this should be 0 0.1 grams because percentage is grams per 100 ml. So I know the, the solution which I have to make, it contains 8 ml. In 8 ml, it needs to have 0 0.1 grams. So 100 ml will have 1.25 grams. So that means the Percentage of the solution which I have to make is 1.25%. Right? Again, just pay attention that I have been given um, what amount of drug will be present in what volume. Then this is what I have to make. From, so from this, I worked out the percentage. So the percentage of the solution which I have to make is 1.25. Now, I have got the percentage on both sides. And I have got the volume on one side as well. And I can figure out the volume here. Okay, so C1, V1, C2, V2, R4. Ultimate formula, C1, V1, we can apply that. So we can to use that 2.5%. Now 8 mils, 4. The answer is 4. So I need 4 milliliters of this suspension to make um, this final one, which will have 100 milligrams in 8 minutes. Okay, everybody? So just figure, I remember that I'm trying to figure out whether I can use C1, V2, and C2, V2 formula. So let's start with what I have to make. I had to make 100 milligrams containing an 8 mils. So I figured out the, what would be the percentage of my final solution. 
So I figured out that the percentage of my final solution would be 1.25 and I have to make 8 mils of that. I have got a starting percentage so I can use simply C1, B and C2. Let's see if we can use uh, C1, B1 here. How many grams of a drug are required to make a 100 mil of 1 in 25 solution? So let's start with the end. I have to make 100 milliliters of 1 in 25 solution. Well, so 1 in 25 means 1 grams in 25 minutes. So it's a very straightforward calculation. We don't even need C1, V1, C2, V2. So if you just figure out 1 in 25, which I have to make, 1 in 25 means 1 gram in 25 minutes. And I have to make 100 minutes. So for 1 gram would be present in 25 mils. For 100 mils, I would need how many grams? Four. Okay, so we just start with the end, what we need, what we need, and then that will help. Should we move on? Question number six. How much of a 0.75% weight by volume stock solution is required to produce 5 litre of 1 in 10,000 solution here? So I have to make, again, start from the end, I have to make 0.5 litres of 1 in 10,000, right? And I have to start with 0.75. Can I use C1 V1 here? Yes, because it's given that what I have to make, and I have got a starting percentage, I have to find out the volume of this. I can use C1 V1 C2 V2 here again, but I would have to make sure first that the units are the same on both sides. So starting percentage, un, um, the concentration, the concentration of the solution which I have is in percentage. So let's convert this into percentage as well. So one gram in 10,000 mils. So if 10,000 mils, uh, let's make it, um, oh, one gram. So in 10,000 mils, it's one gram. In 100 mils, it will be, because percentage is out of 100 mils. So that would be 0 0.01 grams. So again, the concentration of the final solution is given in 1, 10, 1 in 10,000. So I'm trying to convert that into percentage. So 1 in 10,000 equal to 0 0.01 percent. Um, 0 Remember we did this yesterday. We, we did the conversions between the different types of concentrations. Right? So 1 in 10,000 is equal to 0.01%. So this becomes 0.5 liters times 0.01%. And this here I have this. Right? But the final volume is needed in milliliters. So the next thing I would do is I would convert this into milliliters. So that will become what? Going from a bigger unit to a smaller unit, the decimal will move, move towards right by three places. One, two, three, 500 minutes. Right? So I need 6.67 milliliters of this. Okay, everybody? Again, the emphasis is that let's see first if you can use C1, V1, C2, V2. 
Majority of the situations you can use C1V2V2, C1V1, C2V2, but you just have to understand the question carefully.